Hello everyone, this is Sachin Saban, your UK immigration lawyer. Uh, today I'm going to talk about EUSS refused applications. So EUSS is European EU Settlement Scheme. European Settlement Scheme, either you are applying for pre-settled status or settled status and it is refused. What should you do? Either administrative review or appeal. You have both the options. You can straight go for AR wait for it it takes about 12 months to decide an ar approximately that is the waiting time as of today so what does ar mean i'll explain that as well first so what does administrative review mean uh, so if caseworker one has checked your application and that person has refused it someone in the same department say caseworker two will check the documents application and he will try to see if this person C1 has made any error and it will be usually an administrative error something that they have not looked at you provided a council tax bill they didn't see it uh, a bank statement was provided uh, it, they didn't see it so or something like that anything that was administratively like a mistake like by mistake you don't see some document or you overlook something etc so that is the main reason why the AR is in place where there is a manual error a human being doesn't look at something or does looks at something assume some things and makes a mistake but someone else looks at it and they may decide it positively but usually the ar approval rates after administrative review are quite low so remember secondly so these are two main problems of ar so it takes about 12 months is the processing time the queue is very long now for uh, especially uss reviews and the rate of uh, approval after an ad doing an administrative review is also quite low so those are two main challenges of ar instead of this so after doing that ar you also have the option of going for an appeal obviously that is there but you wasted considerable amount of time doing this doing the ar so you when it is refused when the us is refused you also have the alternate option of not going for administrative review but directly going for an appeal so in the appeal process usually the way it works is preferably when you want to appeal do it through legal representatives lawyers we are lawyers we do i am myself qualified at level 3 which is the highest level of qualification under office of the immigration services commissioner advocacy and representation i also go to tribunals etc for appeals uh, so if you want to file an appeal preferably do it through a lawyer so we can represent if you want advice on your specific case uh, do book a consultation with us we can review the refusal reasons and tell you the merits of success whether you should go for an AR or an appeal or it or at all or whatever the chances of success are of each of them we can assess that we can take all the information read the reasons that the caseworker has stated why they have refused the application and whatever is possible the percentage chances of success it's a 50 50 chance it's a 80 20 chance 80 percent chance of success whatever that is once we see uh, the we hear the information from you we read the refusal letter we definitely do that we can do that at least that consideration we always advise clients before deciding what you really want to do you may not do the whole thing with us but yes if you want to continue with us we can do either the ar if there are merits only yeah i know sometimes clients will say i want to do ar because that is free or it has just some nominal fees so that is perfectly fine uh, but if that doesn't have much merits of success we'll clearly tell you but we will act as you tell us so you are the client and you instruct us so but we will tell you the merits of success of each of them and the timings etc so if it's an appeal usually the process works is we file the appeal usually if it is in the uk usually it will be 14 days something needs to be filed within 14 days yeah uh, from the date of receiving the refusal letter uh, then the appeal is filed i'll briefly explain the process so at least you have an idea then uh, this once the application is appeal is filed uh, it is lodged on the system and then you have to file all the documents whatever are your grounds of appeal basically that's an online form along with that so more or less this is one process only there are just some timings given just a little bit more time to upload your side of the story 
it can be witness statements uh, skeleton argument anything grounds of appeal whatever you want to put usually it is grounds of appeal usually that is what we see that is what we also do like these are the reasons why i want to appeal so simple as that so once that is filed home office is given some timing and uh, then the tribunal it's an automated system through which the home office has the timing to respond and decide whether they they also put their side of the document saying this is the reason usually they just give a copy of the application form and they are a letter etc and whatever documents you may have put with the application so and then so this is the home office side we put our side they put their side home office is then given some time to look at our side of the story and from there if they want to withdraw their decision from there the home office can decide whether they want to withdraw or they want to maintain if they want decide to withdraw they may withdraw it you mean the appeal will not go forward then then the home office will have to make a new decision they may ask for more documents etc that is one one chain of thought that may happen it's quite rare uh, unless it's a very obvious error and home office lawyers don't want to pursue it uh, but mainly they would if they decide to maintain and they want to continue with the appeal they want to go to the hearing etc then it will be just sitting in the queue of the tribunal and after some time usually let's say if the appeal wait times are about 12 months as of now between 12 months to 15 months approximately so towards uh, let's say after 10 months or so the appeal about one or two months before the appeal hearing usually or even before it depends on how busy the courts are how busy the court officers are uh, court clerks are so they will send a hearing date on that day so once the appeal is listed for hearing that is called as listing for hearing so hearing at that point also some documents can be filed so they will also always ask both the parties to file their documentation which yeah all this is done by us if you are doing it and then so i'm just summarily trying to explain how the steps work uh, so uh, briefly you file your reasons home office says yes we want to continue with the appeal they continue they say oh we want to withdraw our application and we want to reconsider reconsider doesn't mean approve they may reconsider and refuse it for other reasons also it happens so they will look at it again basically and if they decide to maintain the appeal they come to the hearing uh, our barristers go in uh, and they put their side home office hopers home office presenting officers they come both the parties put their uh, cases in front of the judge they make their sub submissions if required the client also comes depending on the cases the client also comes and they can give their witnesses their statements etc and that's how the appeal goes and after that the decision comes and we take it from there so this is mainly the appeal process this may also takes about about 12 months or so for, to reach up to hearing uh, unless it is the decision is withdrawn by home office so these are the two options you should go for in order to assess rather than wasting time getting into one and then trying to withdraw and change the courses of action it's much better to decide at the first instance hence our advice is always to the clients you may or may not do any of this through us or yourself that is your decision but whenever you get a refusal at least take an opinion from immigration lawyers so we do give opinions on the refusal merits of success etc of the ar of appeal or sometimes if a reapplication will solve the problem sometimes clients sell us so i didn't produce this so rather than appealing and fighting on all these things it may be simple as a reapplication and we write a exhaustive covering letter explain the thing saying these are the reasons for refusal we have already addressed with all these extra documents that the client has provided and we have got approvals as well you don't have to go for either of these so on the face of it the refusal letter may look like Oh, I only have two options. Either I go for AR or I go for appeal. But reapplication has sorted many, many issues. I've seen many times I discuss with clients, I understand the case, and they are like, oh, I also have this. And when I ask, when I drill down, I ask more, 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 and more and questions, they definitely have some documentation, some information, something somewhere. And that uh, increases the chances of their initial application, which they may have would have given if that would have helped the case uh, so we can either decide so definitely for your particular case do book a consultation with us we can advise on the merits of a reapplication of an ar of an appeal 
what is to be done the cost involved etc so uh, the link for the consultation to book the consultation will be below this video and definitely like this video click on the bell notification icon subscribe to our youtube channel follow us on various social media platforms uh, there are a lot of uss refusals so definitely uh, do subscribe to our channel this will in this way youtube will throw this video to others as well who are in need there are many people who are in need yeah so sometimes they may have resources to appeal they may not this video will at least give an idea as to what they are getting into or do they really want to get into this or not so definitely do subscribe to our channel uh, youtube will throw it to others who are looking for even if they search for EUSS refusal, EUSS appeal, they will find this video and it will help someone somewhere. So definitely do follow us, do subscribe to our channel that will help someone, that will also help us and it will encourage us to make more and more videos. Thank you.